What's up, YouTube? This is Brother John coming to you on January the 25th, 2017. So this story comes out of the Associated Press, January 24th, 2017. Uh, the State Department is reviewing $221 million payment to Palestinians. Uh, the State Department is reviewing a last-minute decision by former Secretary of State John Kerry to send $221 million to the Palestinians late last week over the objections of congressional Republicans. The department said Tuesday it would look at the payment and make adjustments to ensure it comports with Trump's Trump administration's priorities. Kerry formally notified Congress that he would release the money Friday morning, uh, just hours before President Donald Trump took the oath of office. Now, the money had been in the budget, had been uh, in the budget for years 2015 and 2016, but at least two congressional uh, GOP lawmakers, Ed Royce of California and Kay Granger of Texas, had placed holes on it over moves the Palestinian Authority had taken to seek membership in international organizations. Congressional holds are generally respected by the executive branch, but are not legally binding after funds have been allocated. So after not delivering the money in 2015 and 2016, uh, I guess they decided to try to slip it in on their way out the door. So anyway, that money is being held and, and that uh, decision is being reviewed at this point, which I, I, I cannot, I can't agree, disagree with that. But, on the same hand, uh, we are giving um, Israel $3 billion a year, and that money is being placed in an uh, interest-bearing account at the New York Fed, which uh, we're paying that interest on it. So, yeah, we should not be giving the Palestinians $220 mil $221 million where that money is just handed over and we really don't have any... Um, any controls over how it's spent or who gets it, so you don't know where it's going. But neither should we be giving Israel three billion dollars a year either. The United States, at last count, I think we're like twenty trillion dollars in debt. We owe twenty trillion dollars. To put that in perspective, uh, I once read that if you had if you had spent a million dollars a day since the day Jesus Christ was born you would not have spent $1 trillion right now. Imagine that. So that's $1 trillion. We owe $20 trillion. We're $20 trillion in debt. How can that amount of money ever be repaid? I don't think it's planning on being repaid, but that's another story. But while we're handing out or freezing Money, let's freeze money for everyone. Let's not just single out one one country. I don't think there I don't think we should be giving anybody any money until we can get our economic house in order and start taking care of some things at home and then maybe we can consider uh you know resuming foreign aid to, to different countries. But our economic system is in dire straits right now, not just in the United States, but around the world. The amount of debt that's being created uh, cannot be sustained. And at a certain point, it's going to come to a breaking point. You as an individual or you as a family, you cannot continue to spend more money than you make every year. But our government does do that. And the law of uh, economic mother nature says that cannot happen. Well, we are. It's happening because the uh, Federal Reserve has a printing press, and the United States in dollar enjoys the world reserve currency status right now. But if something should happen, and the United States uh, does loses that reserve currency status, we're gonna be on a whole lot of trouble. So. Yeah, I, I applaud the freezing of $221 million, but at the same time, let's review all foreign aid and make some adjustments and freezes accordingly. And that's the way I see it.